to our reporter Jackson Vernon, who's been reporting all morning from the CBD downtown in Lismore, which has been inundated this morning by that river, which is the Wilsons River, which is right behind you. Thanks, Jackson. Yeah, g'day, Virginia. What we can see right now is the water toppling over the levee here, built to protect the town of Lismore from flooding like this. I understand that the levee is essentially doing what it's meant to be doing and protecting parts of it, but that hasn't stopped an enormous a volume of water now rushing through the water. We've got some people that are enjoying themselves out to, to check out the spectacular site that is here right now. We've got a number of businesses that have uh, water through them at the moment, and the water is rising at an incredible rate. Every minute that goes by, it's, it's, it's rising quicker and quicker, and through the town, these normally streets of the CBD have been turned into a river, garbage bins, debris flowing through the town and it is a rather dangerous and unpredictable situation at the moment, Virginia. Certainly is and we're expecting the waters to rise as you say, they're, they're, they're coming through fast and rising quickly but then we'll have a high tide I think at around about midday and of course uh, the creeks in the hills around, they come down, the, the water will come down there and feed into that body of water that's behind you. Absolutely. So I don't know if we're able to get the camera to go down there, but this this part here, it may look like it's shallow, but it's not. This is incredibly high at the moment, and the homes, the concern is the homes that are right down the street here, um, a number of them which would have been completely submerged at the moment, and with that high tide, that water is only going to to rise um, anymore. I understand mm. that the, the river at the moment is about... 10.6, 10.7 metres. Um, that is, uh, as I understand, the highest level it's been since uh, 1974 when it had a, a massive flood here. So some of the highest levels that we're seeing here in, in 30 years or so, and with that high tide, that could bring more challenges for emergency services as they grapple with this unfolding in an unpredictable situation. Just before I let you go, Jackson, are you seeing any SES workers out and about? We know that about a, 130 calls were made up for flood rescues and the SES simply couldn't get to those calls. Are you seeing them out? Well, at the moment, where I'm standing at the moment is an area where emergency services have told everyone to leave. So uh, there aren't too many emergency service crews here at the moment. The people that are left are those that have been able to um, stay in um, apartments and, and shops above the, the the ground floor here. So not too many emergency service crews here. There are a couple of council workers here um, monitoring and uh, just checking out the situation at the moment. People have actually walked in from higher parts of the town to, to look at things. But in terms of emergency services no nothing here at the moment there is a bit of a police presence and so they're just uh, um, surveying and, and monitoring the situation as as it unfolds here all right thanks so much take care jackson thank you gee your heart would break